What's going on there guys? Call of Truth here with some more Battlefield 3 gameplay for you all and hopefully you guys are having a fantastic Wednesday morning and enjoying a video that's up earlier than I usually put them out. So I do my best to try to get this video out earlier in the morning. That way you guys can have some entertainment uh, before you hope you start your workday. I don't know. I don't know exactly what time I'll be able to get this up. It may be a little bit later than some of you guys have to go into work. But uh, time of recording this commentary right now. I know uh, by the time you see the video, there's probably going to be some information known about Battlefield 4. Just at the time right now, the moment I speak, there are uh, there, the reveal and just I guess you'd say the meeting hasn't even happened yet. So uh, there's, we're still waiting anxiously to see what's going to come out of that. So hopefully... We're going to get a lot of information and learn a lot more about this game. But real quick, before we get into the main topic of the video, I want to talk about the true primary master dog, or primary weapon master dog tag that you just saw me unlock right there. And if you've already unlocked this dog tag, you know about it and you don't care, you don't want to hear, I'll put an annotation on the screen, skip ahead to that point of the video, and that way you don't have to hear me talk about something that you already understand and know. But I want to go real quick in terms of how you unlock this dog tag as far as I know. First of all, this dog tag came with the most recent patch for Battlefield 3 that around the time of the in-game release. You don't have to have in-game, you do have to have Battlefield Premium though, which really you will have in-game if you have Battlefield Premium already. This dog tag will come with that, and if you don't have Battlefield Premium, as far as I know, you can't get it. Drop me a comment though if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that uh, statement there, that fact, if that's true. So uh, if, if I'm incorrect, throw me a comment down below. But you have to have Battlefield Premium, as far as I know. And then the assignment starts then. It's not an actual written down assignment in terms of requirements, but what you have to do, is, as far as, as what's known to me, is get a total of 600 kills. 100 kills with each primary weapon class in the game. Not with each individual weapon, with each primary weapon class. That is going to be assault rifles, carbines, light machine guns, sniper rifles, shotguns, and personal defense weapons. 100 kills with each of those classes post-in-game patch, that's after the most recent patches come out, in order to get the dog tag. It does not count it for you. You either have to count it yourself or just kind of guesstimate until you get there. And yes, I use guesstimate. That's... For some reason, extremely popular word here in America. Don't really know why, but uh, we like to use it a lot. But you don't, it doesn't count it for you. You have to count it yourself, and uh, you'll eventually get the dog tag after doing that requirement. Total of 600 kills, 100 with each of the six classes I listed uh, previously. So if you uh, if you're looking to unlock the dog tag, that's how you do it. Now let's move on from there and talk about this PDW derp that you're watching me use on screen right now. Wait, wait, wait. derp? Yes, I said the PDW derp, but that's its former name. I need a better name for it now. I know I now since using this gun here on the Zebra Tower Close Quarters DLC as well as some scrap metal you're gonna be watching a little bit later on the video. The D PDW derp, no, nah, it just no. This gun this gun it's 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 by no means a derpy weapon. That's what I used to think. It's like, huh, uh, PDWR and you kinda of like your little derp you know, oh PDW derp, uh, it's Kind of stupid lame. Yeah, I know. I'm 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 weird like that. I like to call <laughs> have weird names for weapons. Real quick though, uh, you do see kind of these black bars coming through here. I'm not exactly sure why that was. That was actually happening in the game. That's not something from Vegas or something that went wrong when recording the video. That was going on in the game. So I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. Uh, if it really irritates you, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. But the PDWR most certainly is an underused weapon. You, let me know the last time you ever saw somebody that was rocking the PDWR. I mean, never. Just never, ever, ever. It's not the, the most underused weapon. I'd have to give that to the QBU-88. I mean, Lord Almighty, I never see that gun. That poor... I feel so bad for that thing. That's one of the reasons why I use it, because nobody else does. I, don't, I haven't picked it up for a long time. You know what? As soon as I hop on and play some Battlefield 3 next time, I'm going to be using that weapon, because I miss it. <laughs> poor gun. It's just, it's just nobody loves it, it's what it seems like. But this gun, it just never, ever seems to get used. It really doesn't. And it, why is that? You know, what, what's so bad about this gun? Is there really anything bad? No. There really isn't anything that's that bad about the weapon. Why is it so underused then? Because it doesn't do something or one per particular thing spectacular. What it reminds me of is the G36C Carbine in the Engineer class. That weapon doesn't do one thing amazing. It does everything decent. And that's the PDWR. Fire rate, not that great. 750. Damage stats, not outrageous. 25 to 14.3. Pretty standard for a carbines, a little bit more than most of your personal defense weapons out there. Reload time, pretty uh, pretty average. I think it's around what, two, two, about around two and a half seconds or so, and close to three if you completely run your magazine dry. I don't have the exact stats in front of me. I'm kind of going off memory here. 
And the, uh, the, or excuse me, the magazine size, when it comes to PDW, it's kind of standard, you know, the base 20 rounds and then double to, not double, excuse me, pushed up to 30 with extended max. So it's really, it doesn't do that, that great. You know, recoil, I think it's about a point four right pull, point two left pull. And so it, when it comes to your recoil, it's going to kick a little bit more to your right. And it's not like it has a nice, you know, low recoil. First shot recoil is, eh, it's pretty high. I think it's around a two or two or 2.5. Uh, once again, going off memory right here, should have pulled up the damage stats, or should have pulled the statistics on this gun before I did this comments here, but hey, you know, a little bit too late now. So this weapon really doesn't do anything that great. It really doesn't, but what is, what honestly is, is making me starting to like this weapon more? It's consistency. This weapon does not let me down. There's some times in which I use weapons that, like an MP7 or even a P90, UMP45, M5K, which are many people consider to be the best PDWs out there. And there'll, there'll be times at which I just, I just like, you, know, you ever have something, a piece of machinery that doesn't work, and so you like kick it with your foot, you're banging against the table, you're like, stupid thing, work. That's what I feel like doing to those guns sometimes. It's like, why aren't you working? You know, you've done this before, why aren't you doing it now? That doesn't happen with the PDWR. This gun is very, very reliable. It's by no means the best, but it's so consistent. And that's something within this game that is very, very nice to have. And that's something I love about the PDWR. Now, is it going to clap? Does that make it one of the best PDWs in the game? Really, no, it doesn't. Because when it comes to Battlefield 3, fire rate and time to kill are everything. That is probably one of the most, the, not say the number one factor in terms of playing this game, but it's definitely up there. And so weapons like the PDWR get shut out because they have a slow fire rate, not that great at damage stats, and so their time to kill is relatively slow when compared to uh, to many of the other weapons in this game. But check this out right here. Get the one, two, three, almost got the quad. I was about to pull up my pistol. What is that, 6% health left? Oh man, I'd had a quad right there. That would have been really, really nice with just the little old PDW, former PDW derp. Now, uh, uh, give me a name for this gun, please. I'm very curious to hear a what you guys can come up with if you, if you are so kind to leave a name. If you hate that, well, too bad, because I just feel like giving this weapon a name because it needs one, because you used to call it PDW Derp, and now, no sir, it, it's, it's, it's much better than that, uh, that horrible name that I gave it prior to that. So when it comes to using PDWs in this game, try this one out. Give it a shot. Especially with Battlefield 3 kind of winding down, it's, it's the game, it's drawing to a close here pretty soon. Now, nobody knows when it, the game is officially just gonna just drop off the face of the earth and die, and why could I not put my tugs down right there? I honestly don't know. It was when it was yellow. It wasn't the uh, the red marker where you can't put it down somewhere. It was yellow saying you're good to go, and it wouldn't drop. I'm not exactly sure why. But since Battlefield 3 is winding down, since Endgame for some people was a hit, some people was a miss. It, it they're trying to find things to do. What's left to do in this game? And the PDWR is probably a weapon that many of you guys are looking through battle log going, oh, wow, I only got like 50 kills. I only got 100 kills with this gun. Maybe maybe I should use that. Try it out for me. See how it goes. I like Percy, I like the red dot sight, the reflex that is, laser and extended mags. This weapon's hip fire, not the best when it comes to uh, PDWs. Actually, it's pretty bad and for PDW's sake. The only two weapons that hip fire worse are the AS Val and then the M5K. Now, maybe saying, well, the M5K is a hip fire, you know, it's a hip fire laser or a hip fire death machine. Yeah, that's true. But the M5K, keep in mind, it has a 150 RPM. Uh, higher than the PDWR, which oftentimes can help out when it comes to hip firing, especially if you do that kind of short tap bursting. The PDWR's hip fire is good, especially when compared to like assault rifles and carbines, but it's not really that great. Actually, where this weapon thrives at in terms of just a stat that it holds above almost every single other PDW is its standing still accuracy when you're not moving. Just looking down sights, or sta standing still, not moving. Wow, way to go, Cloud Truth. You just repeated yourself. Um, when you're standing still, and aiming down sights. This weapon's base accuracy is better than all PDWs except for the AS file, which has that zero spread, which is, that's just, that's unreal. That's just like godly, it, that's, it's really, really good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it very, very much, especially for getting a video out on a Wednesday morning after uh, the Battlefield 4 announcements, which is, like I said, not happened yet, but if it has, leave me your thoughts about it below in the comment section. I'll probably have heard the news by now, and uh, that way I can kind of hear what you guys have to think about it. See you next time. Bye.